Hi, Veil Fucci here, the headshot doctor. Today I was shooting product, not headshots. And so I came into the studio with no makeup on. And I thought, you know what would be a great thing is testing the brand new Evoto iPad app. Woo! and see how well it works for wireless tethering. So first I did that even with product shoots and it worked great. And now my no makeup list self is gonna try taking some shots with this, of just selfie shots with the app right here in me in a flat lay mode since I was all set up with the lighting like that already and see how it goes and see if the iPad app can hold a candle to the desktop app to see how well it can in real time be doing those amazing edits and retouches right in real time. So I intentionally am wearing no makeup and we're gonna see how Evoto makes me look just hopefully gorgeous with it. All right, let's see. All right, so as it turns out, uh, it's, my iPad isn't able to record the screen while it's also tethering. Here were the different results that were from me tethering. As I went along, it was just as if I was shooting into Evoto tethered with the desktop. But it's right here on my iPad, which is really incredible. You can actually see <laughs> right here uh, of me going and trying to show that I was taking it right then and there and using it. And you can see how it's going to process this uh, with the preset that I created here in the actual iPad. And there we go. We can see the difference from here to there of just how much better that's looking uh, with it there. Uh, it comes with all the different standard effects that you've already seen probably when you're using regular Evoto on a desktop there. It'll go and process it. And I guarantee you it'll probably do it a lot faster on your iPad than it does on mine. This is a really old iPad uh, with it there. So you can see of doing that versus make, having my very own iPad one that I had made up there. So let's go through real quick, just see uh, the little bits of differences here and there that you may see with uh, the different stuff. So let's just go and make it so that, whoop. okay, let's see. Let's find a shot here. Oh, I look very happy there. This was the one with the retouch already done with Evoto, but let's go through and do this starting from the thing. So let's go and reset all effects. All right, so let's go in and see what we find that's gonna be any different with using it on the iPad app versus the desktop. Okay, so first off, when you're coming in here, these were shots I'd gotten when I was doing tethered shooting, doing a flat lay set up there uh, to just be testing out the wireless tethering with it. And it actually worked very, very well for the wireless tethering. Um, but right now, let's just see back of there. So it, what's really neat is it retains your different presets. It has both the ones that you've come to know and love probably from the desktop version, as well as any ones you've made previously. When you log in, it retains those things across the platform. The one difference is, is that uh, while it will retain all the different changes and stuff that you do, it's not going to have both your LUTs so that if you've got any lookup tables, that's what LUTs stand for, that won't be applied in here. And it won't have the background substitutions that you normally would find over here on the right-hand panel where you could have it clean up the background, replace the background, etc. So those are the things that are limited just to having it on the desktop version, but otherwise pretty much everything else is on here, which is kind of amazing fantastic all the things that it does have this has so much more than i was ever expecting it to have in the first release of the evoto ipad app okay let's go to portrait retouch the, the big ticket item here all right we'll bring freckle and acne up make my freckle part come down i like my freckles i'm gonna reduce my face shine a little definitely reduce face forehead wrinkles a little bit of eye a little bit of dark circles a little bit of eye bags and I've earned my smile lines, but let's make them a little less pronounced. There we go, a little less on the neck wrinkle. And you can see the sliders are working just the same as they have with the uh, Evoto that you'd find on your desktop, which is amazing. It's this responsive. Skin retouching, all exactly the same. We'll unify that just a little. Looking good. 
facial reshape. Neat thing here so that they were able to conserve space. With it, you have these link symbols. So at first you might go, oh, you're limited just in this to left and right being exactly the same. Nope, you actually can. You just click on the little link symbol and then it makes it independent of the different parts there. So I can do those things on just one side or another with it there so you can see, but I'm, I'm pretty symmetrically happy there. So we'll leave that as it was of my shape there. But we can go and hit symmetrize on and then it'll do a nice little bit. Does a great job with that. Teeth touch up. We all know we want some brighter, whiter teeth there. Great. And just see, let's see how it does with pretty teeth. Does it do all right with that? Oh, it even does a great job and it's able to make that work well. Oh, I like those teeth so much better. <laughs> if only. But let's keep me me. Okay, eyes are looking good as they are with it there. Don't want to take things too far, but eh, just for the sake of things, let's bring the brightness up just a little. Okay. Catch lights are good. Makeup. This is key. Let's see how well this does. Now, first looking at this, I thought, oh, okay, there's so few things. You're just limited to this of makeup suite, eyebrows, eyeshadow but you're not. If you click on more, it's not just more of these preset looks. You get all the different types of makeup variations to work with. So I usually add in a little blush to bring in some warmth back into my cheeks since I'm so pale. Okay, and then we'll go to lipstick. I tend to kind of like this color in real life and then bring it down just a bit. Just give me a sudden Mascara. Now, I normally in real life don't usually put it on on the bottom, so I'm going to separate it out there and make it so the lower doesn't have it. Perfect. And then get some eyebrows. I'd normally get them a little bit darker for myself. Now, I know that's a bit too dark, but we want just that little bit. There we go. The voto for the win. All right. Go back. And now hair. Oh, remove stray hairs is still available, thank goodness. Let's go there. I had a lot of stray hairs here intentionally for us to try out. See how it does. Whoop, there it goes. Look at those stray hairs all taken care of. That is fantastic. That is really amazing. Let's see our body reshape. Bring this in. I wore a great big bulky sweatshirt to see how this would go. Oh, there. Nice. Fabulous. Now, typically on the desktop Evoto, I'd be able to go in and just clone out these little remaining bits of hair that it didn't hit up with the uh, piece of the automatic AI removal of the hair uh, that was fly away. But that's a really complicated element there, so I can understand how that hasn't reached the app yet here. But overall, I would say that this is really a tremendous tool that someone, particularly if you're just starting out, you usually like editing on an iPad there, that this is so incredibly user-friendly with it there. Super, super easy to use. Uh, so you saw all just the sliders and stuff moving it back and forth. We can easily, with it, because we say you liked what you set, had there of the overall changes and stuff that you've made, we can save that as a preset just as easily there. Pick a group. We'll say iPad. And I'll make one for flat lay, because I was laying flat. There we go. And I'm saving those different adjustments that we've done. Yes, I want all those saved. Save. I can now view it. Go right back. And sure enough, we can see I have the iPad one in there. And I can apply that to any of my different images with it there. So say I want it there. I throw on my flat lay one. And again, my iPad's really old. So it's going to probably take its sweet time doing this processing. But still, overall, when you think of all the things it's doing, it's really incredible. And there, took care of it. Oh, all right, and now let's try with that one that I particularly liked. There, oh, I look so happy. Let's export. 
Okay, selected one there. I can choose either JPEG or TIFF. Best. Okay, that's all looking great. And, oh, definitely want to convert to sRGB, so it's all, all the color profile is going to be consistent. Great, have that. And the neat thing is the credits that you buy are going to apply the exact same and be used for the app as they are with the online desktop unit there. So it's not a problem about being like, oh, I have to buy different types of credits now. It's exactly the same across the board. All right, I'm going to choose export to photos in this case, and I'm going to export that. And I'll allow, there we go. And there we go. All right, let's go back and check. There I am. Oh, and there it is. You can see it's fixed. I've got my eyelashes. It's fixed my hair and everything. It worked perfectly. Fantastic. So that's it overall. It has so much of the functionality uh, with it there. As I was using it earlier, there was doing the thing of having it be for tethered camera detection stuff with it there, of working with the tethering. It did a great, phenomenal job. All these shots that I took of myself right there, that was taken with the wireless tethering with my Canon R6 Mark II. So I really encourage you to give it a try. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.